All right, guys, now that we're done, right, here's what we want to do next, okay? So I've already, I've already stepped through this process here. Um, what you want to do is you want to now go ahead and uh, make sure everything's powered off. You can unplug your USB, unplug your battery, and you want to plug your LiPo plug back, I mean, not your LiPo plug, your um, VTX cable back in. Okay, now I had just done that, but um, I realized that it wasn't recording, so let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So you remember how we unplugged this cable right here so that we could turn the drone on and it wouldn't worry about overheating? Well, go ahead and plug it back in now because we're getting ready to load uh, this, the software, okay? So let's go ahead and plug that back in and then get everything lined back up and put your top plate back on. I always, this is the trickiest part for me, so let me just, there, there we go. And really, all you have to do is just put in two front screws to hold it in place and you can put the two back screws in the middle screws you can put in when you're fully done and you know you don't have to open it up again this way you don't have to spend so much time removing all these screws if you don't need to okay let's do that turn this around and I'm gonna put the two back screws in just like this okay now now that we've done the motor calibration we've done the flight controller setup uh, and all that. Now what we want to do is we just, we, we want to go ahead and get our video working, right? We want to get our VTX, that, that controller working so we can start getting images on our screens or on our goggles. And one thing, one thing to keep in mind though, this VTX and all VTXs function on the same frequency as um, Wi-Fi networks. So there's a good chance when I turn this on, it may cut us out and I don't want that to happen. But keep in mind that if you're sitting in a classroom or if you're at home and you're, you've got Wi-Fi going on, you may interrupt the Wi-Fi signal. So I'm gonna show you how to try to avoid that by putting it on a channel that is hopefully not gonna interfere. So pay close attention, because here's what we're gonna do. First thing we're gonna do is let's head on over, let's go ahead and plug our drone in first. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in. Okay. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get back to the computer screen here. We're gonna minimize uh, our screen here. And we're gonna go back to our FPV Professor downloads page. And right here at the bottom, you're gonna see this file link for JGMCU, okay? And you're gonna right click on it, and you're gonna left click on save link as. Now, if you don't right click on it, if you actually left, cl left click on it, after I wrote right here, don't left click, if you do that, here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna have this weird page with a bunch of characters you don't need. So don't do that. Just right click, left click on save link as, and download the file and just save it as its name vtx5828.json which is right here now i've already downloaded so i'm gonna click cancel you need to go ahead and save it though okay once you've downloaded it um come over to beta flight and uh go ahead and connect now i loaded this file and my video wasn't recording at the time so this is why it's going to look different for me than what you see but if you go to video transmitter see all these here you won't see any of that okay um and the reason you won't is you haven't loaded the file yet what I want you to do is I want you to come over here and click load from file. I want you to find that VTX5828, click it, then click open. Now when you scroll, you're gonna see all these, okay? And then I want you to click save, okay? Now, we're gonna try this so hopefully this doesn't interrupt our signal. What I wanna do is once you click save, I want you to come over here and I want you to go to band, drop down and go to uh, E. For channel, I want you to go to five. And for power, I want you to go to 25. And I want you to click save, okay? I think, I'm hoping that this will help all of you not interfere with what's going on at your class or at your home or hopefully in this video. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually plug this in. Okay, so plug your battery in and turn it on. Hear the startup tones, okay? And now what we wanna do is when we click save, what I want you to do is I want you to click disconnect then I want you to reconnect, okay? Do your reset Z-axis, do your calibrate accelerometer, and then come down to video transmitter. And do you see now where it says VTX type, tramp, device ready, yes? This is what you need to see. If it says yes, that's why we disconnected because it was saying no because we have to reset beta flight. It says yes, that means we've got video working. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab my monitor, okay, right here. And there you go. See if I put my hand in front of the drone. So here, let me give you a shot of the, the drone itself, right? Look, I've got my hand in front of the drone and you can see it. I could put it towards my ugly face. You can see that too. 
So now we have our VTX loaded. This is perfect because this is your goggles right here. This is what you're gonna be doing for your goggles right here. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna zoom in on this screen, okay? I want you to be able to see the screen perfectly. And I'm gonna put the cap back on the lens so you can read the letters. Uh, that's not the right size cap, bear with me a second. Let me move this, let me put this cap on here if I can get it. All right, now let's put this, can you see that right there? So what you're seeing right now is what you would be seeing in your goggles. Now, remember, I put the cap on so it's black, so you can see the white letters, okay? So now what we're gonna do is let's go back to beta flight, and I'm gonna do a split screen. Let me see if I can do this a little bit easier for you guys here. So let's try this, okay? I'm gonna leave it just like that. Now, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to that OSD tab right here. Check this out, OSD, okay? And now, when I drag this, this is, for example, my battery I'm gonna move it so it's not directly in my screen because I'm gonna be watching out of goggles I don't want that to be picking up all my stuff so let me move this down just a little bit there you should see that okay you see how I dra I drug this to the top here and it's at the top of my screen this is the warning message so I'm gonna look for my warning I don't want crosshairs I'm gonna remove these we don't need these that's that little stuff right here uh, what happened to my OSD one uh, let's click save. I don't know. My, my OSD just disappeared. Let me see if I can get it back. There it goes. Okay. So um, battery voltage I want. Okay, I'm going to click save. I don't, I'm not, I don't have other profiles right now. So battery voltage is what's up here in the left. This warning is what's up here almost in the middle. And that's going to be at the bottom. See where it says warnings? I'm just going to remove those check marks. And I'm going to drag this to the bottom of my screen. Right there. And you see how it now moves here. I'll put it a little bit higher because what I want is I want my drone name to be right here. Okay, so you can just do this live and center it how you would like it on your screen. Okay, so I'm gonna click save. And then I'm gonna go up and go to, uh, let me see, it's called craft name, I believe. There it is right there. And you remember I told you if you put that, then you'll see your name when you're flying. And there you go, you put that at the bottom. Okay, so now you can see on my screen, right here is my name. There's my warning. And there's so many things you can do here. You can do battery voltage, you can put camera frame, uh, you can do you can do a lot of stuff, all right? So, but these are the ones that you need the most right now. Um, and so we're gonna leave those just like that. There is one other one perhaps uh, that you guys might wanna use, um, and that's gonna be, uh, let's see, flight, fly mode. Okay, I'm gonna leave that, and I'm gonna put that right here. All right, so there we go. Now I'm gonna go, and it's, it's overheating, so I'm gonna go ahead, click save, and okay, so you see the screen and everything makes sense. Let me see if I can plug in the battery here. Try to get a little bit more time maybe. Um, and you see how it starts getting static. You like that, right? So you might get some static. I'm gonna go ahead and put this away now because I've got to, the drone's been on long enough without flying. These VTXs will overheat, but actually here, let me show you. So you can see it one last time. Okay, so you see how nice that looks. Everything's perfect. Now, when I take the lens off, it's hard to see those, it's hard to see them for you, but when you have your goggles on, you'll be able to see this perfectly, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put that away now. There we go. And we are, uh, let me zoom out. Just about there. And we are pretty much done. So we're gonna go ahead and click save. Okay. We're gonna click disconnect. And I will tell you guys right now, that is 99% of setting up this drone is what you just did. You now have your motor spinning correctly. You have your camera working perfectly with your VTX on channel E5, so it shouldn't be interfering. You have it set to 25 milliwatts, which is the lowest power it can run, so it's not interfering with everybody else's as well. Uh, you have um, your orientation of the board set. You have your firmware updates done. Um, so you're pretty much ready to go. So the next set of videos we're going to be doing are going to be getting your controller to work with your radio, setting the arm switch, the disarm switch, the panic switch, or the, basically the fail safe switch. If it starts flying away from you, flip that off. But you guys have done a great job. If you're at this point and it's working great, you're awesome. You're about 90% done, and we'll be back with the next set. I'll see you guys in a minute.